From the 700 WLW Newsroom, here's Brian Combs. Big stories you're talking about on the big one today. An appearance in court for the suspect who caused all that commotion yesterday on I-75 in Lachlan. He was arraigned today on bank robbery charges related to the holdup yesterday in Westchester. The bond put in a million dollars to make sure that Jackie Jackson Jr. doesn't go anywhere. Now he's the guy who tried to outrun police from Westchester. The chase ended in a standoff that shut down traffic for several hours on I-75 there in the Lachlan Canyon. Getting ready for opening day in Cincinnati, a big part of that, what happens on Fountain Square. And today, there's sort of a preview party of the Reds' home opener. The city will be turning on the fountain, Tyler Davidson Fountain. The water will start running at noon today. The city has a little party for that to get ready for the bigger party tomorrow, which is opening day in Cincinnati, the unofficial holiday. Fountain Square will be one spot that the parade passes by. This year, the parade will start a little bit later, about a half hour later than usual, because the Reds' first pitch comes at 210 tomorrow. Complete coverage all day tomorrow here on The Big One. If you'd like to find out what it'd be like to live next door to Great American Ballpark, tours are being conducted this afternoon of the bank's apartments. If you're interested, 415, 430, the times that the developer will be taking people through the property. It'll be followed by happy hour at the one bar that's open there at the banks and will be open tomorrow for opening day. Holy Grail opened on St. Patrick's Day in Cincinnati. Checking on the health of the community, Cincinnati Health Department going to be releasing the results of a two-year study today. They looked at all the neighborhoods in Cincinnati, determined the causes of death. Heart disease finishes number one across the city. The release coming at 3.30 today. Healthiest county in southwestern Ohio is Warren County. This according to a new report from a foundation that's been studying counties all across the country, looked at a number of health issues, including education, as to trying to determine who has the healthiest people. In northern Kentucky, Boone County ranked number one in the entire state. Indiana, southeast Indiana, Dearborn County number one. They ranked 28th out of the state's 92 counties.